Welcome to Lesson 80 of our Interactive Notes. We are classifying triangles today, pages 35 and 36. So our content objective for fourth grade G Geometry 2. I can recognize and identify right triangles and special triangles. Language objective, I can use vocabulary related to geometry to classify triangles. Social objective, I can work with others to use models to help identify, class, identify classified triangles. So first we have some terms here that we want to become familiar with. Congruent. Congruent means having the exact same size and shape. So they have equal measure and they're equal shape. So having the exact same size and shape is congruent. So this is similar to the, the word equal and actually has a similar symbol to equal. That would be an equal sign and then congruent has a little tilde on top. So congruent shows that it has an equal size and an equal shape. So that congruent and equal are similar. Not exactly the same, but they are similar. And then the word similar. Different in size, but having the same shape with the same angles and proportions. Same, but not identical. So here we have two triangles. On this one, they're exactly the same size and same shape. Here the, they're the same shape, but they're not the same size, so they're similar. Okay, now getting into our terms for our triangle. Here all have to do with sides. Equilateral triangle, a triangle with all three sides having equal lengths and all three angles measuring 60 degrees. Isosceles triangle, a triangle with two equal sides, that's the defin definition we're going to use. The angles opposite the equal sides are also equal. Scalene triangle, a triangle with no equal sides and no equal angles. So this would have three equal sides. two equal sides, no equal sides. So those are the things we want to remember for those. These have to do with angles. Right triangle, a triangle with one 90 degree angle that forms a square corner. So we only need one right angle for this. Acute triangle, a triangle whose three angles are each less than 90 degrees. So all three angles have to be acute. Because every triangle will have acute angles. This one has two acute, but one right, so it's a right triangle. All three have to be acute to be a acute triangle. Obtuse triangle, a triangle with one angle that is larger than 90 degrees, or obtuse, and two angles smaller than 90 degrees, or acute. So if we have one obtuse angle, then the whole triangle is an obtuse triangle. So again, remember similar, same shape, different size. Congruent, exactly the same shape and same size. Classifying triangles, so if we look at, if it's a equilateral, then it's also can be acute always acute. It's never going to be right or um, obtuse. It's always going to be acute. But an isosceles triangle could be acute. It could be right. It could be obtuse because it just has to have two sides that are equal in measure. And then scalene could be acute. It could be right. It could be obtuse. Alright, so just to remember the key things for these triangles. To be an equilateral triangle, all 
three sides are equal. For an isosceles triangle, so this has all three sides, this has two sides. You can put that on here too. Because these sides show what is congruent or equal measure. Isosceles has two equal sides. And this one, scalene, has no equal sides. An acute triangle, all three angles are less than 90 degrees or acute. All three angles are less than 90 degrees or acute. To be an obtuse triangle, you just have to look for that one angle. One angle is greater than 90 degrees or obtuse. So we just need one obtuse angle and it's an obtuse triangle. And then here we just need one right angle. One angle is exactly 90 degrees or a right angle. So just one, because the other two on both of these will be acute. So one right, one obtuse makes it either a right triangle or obtuse triangle. All right, so let's practice more with our three column notes and classifying our triangles.